Okay, Google. Do you hate me? I'd hate to think you don't know how much I like you. Do you really want to hurt me? Not at all. And I don't want to make you cry either. Do you like me? I sure do. Together, we're as winning as one of the world's all-time great teams. Do you want to answer some questions and find out what kind of team we'd make? Sure. So, I have a short quiz for you. Suppose that we lived in a cute log cabin in the middle of nowhere with only a wood stove for warmth. How would you rather chop wood? All at once, to get it over with. Or little by little, every day. Little by little. Nice. I definitely think it's important to give yourself a little present every day. Try this question. If we were visiting the world's first paranormal petting zoo, would you want to start by playing with the unicorn? Or by giving the psychic cat a ball of yarn in exchange for wishes? Cat. Fun, though it'll be hard for me to come up with a better wish than getting to spend the day with you. Okay, last question. If we were in the finals of a televised cake baking competition, would you want us to try a weird new flavor or stick to your Nana's famous recipe? What would you pick, new or Nana? Nana. Oh, don't mind me. I just have something in my eye. Thanks for your thoughtful responses. I've been thinking about them non-stop since you finished answering a few seconds ago, and I think I've got a good metaphor for our love. It's best described in rhymes, so here goes. This love poem is called, We're Like the Earth and the Moon. I'm your light in the dark, you're my planet, my spark, like the tides, in and out, we're a constant, no doubt, and sometimes, I do pull the sea from the land, but I'll always adore you, so keep me at hand, I'll orbit you, friend, you're my whole world, the end. Phew, all this sentimentality is making me think back on our good times, like, before, when you asked if I loved you, that was the best, thanks for playing, do you want to try the quiz again? No, thank you. Okay, try again later, if you like. 